Zara has recently announced that by 2025, 100% of its production will be made of sustainable fabrics. This fits very well in light of the sustainable revolution that has been recently happening in the in fashion industry. But how does this match with uh, Zara's target audience? Are its customers in line with these sustainability topics or are there other topics that they find important? We can have a look at it by using our Word of Localities application. If uh, we were the sustainability managers of Zara, for instance, we would be interesting, interested in know what kind of topics our audience find important. We could do that by having a look at uh, our brand and how our target audience scores worldwide. So we'd have to uh, select uh, April into the brand categories and uh, we will find among others Zara. And we could start an analysis that we would call uh, Zara Worldwide. In a few seconds, we will have a, a screen with all the output from our analysis. As sustainability managers, our interest would be mainly to focus on uh, the sustainability topics that are important for our target audience. But we could also enrich these analyses by having a look at the values, for instance, that are important for them. And in a later stage, also at the archetypes or persuasion techniques that works uh, best with our target audience. But for now, let's uh, focus on sustainability. By clicking on the screen, we will first see on uh, the right uh, left side the uh, global goals that uh, Zara target audience worldwide find important. We see that um, decent work and economic growth scores the highest among the uh, relatively more important uh, uh, global goals for the Zara target audience, together with no poverty and reduced inequalities. Uh, these three uh, SDGs are very nicely uh, combined by the fact that Zara could use them in the communication by uh, telling its customers that the sustainability revolution is not happening only on the materials that Zara is using, but maybe also in the uh, way it's, it's treating their uh, laborers. The fact that uh, who works for Zara is entitled to have a fair pay or a fair uh, labor conditions. So these would be topics that would fit better with the uh, existing target audience of Zara and that can Zara can really promote to engage better with its target audience. If uh, Zara were to um, collaborate with an NGO, uh, it could very well collaborate with UNICEF or uh, United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. Both organizations score relatively high among Zara consumers worldwide. And uh, Zara could uh, begin an initiative, for instance, by donating uh, secondhand clothes to this organization, to children in need or uh, to refugees. And uh, it will get the support of its existing target audience by making this choice. We could also have a look at the tables behind that. By selecting uh, organizations, for instance, we would also see uh, the absolute scores behind that. So we would see, for instance, that UNICEF has the support of 41% of uh, Zara's target audience, which means that uh, by choosing, for instance, to collaborate with UNICEF, Zara would really reach a very high number of uh, its customers. We could also have a look at the issues that uh, uh, Zara's target audience finds important and the actions that they're willing to take to support a cause. So once again, we see here the urge uh, to focus on poverty, on human rights. So it's once again about the labor conditions, the uh, paying fair wages, but also giving uh, fair working hours to, to the laborers. But also the protection of women is another uh, topic that scores very high among uh, Zara's customers. So next to the sustainability, there could also be a chance to talk about uh, um, equal rights when it comes to uh, when it comes to gender. In terms of action, um, Zara customers are much more likely than the rest of the population to be willing to volunteer to participate in a group that supports the cause or to share content on social media. Um, the first two uh, can be very well um, connected to um, 
Zara. So Zara could uh, promote itself as a big family that is supporting uh, the fight of poverty, for instance, and it could even engage with uh, its customers to volunteer and to be part of promoting this message. As well, if it um, if the sustainability manager wanted to create some content and uh, post it online, it would be sure that uh, existing customers would be more than happy to share this content uh, with friends, so to expand the knowledge about a specific topic. Um, we hope that uh, you enjoyed this journey, this uh, sustainability-related uh, journey, and uh, uh, hope to um, get your attention also in the next uh, tutorial. Thank you.